You're listening to Graveyard Show Classic. 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 Good evening, friends of the undead. I am the Deacon of Darkness, the posthumous pimp. Freak Show! And I am the Diva of Dismemberment, Mistress of the Blade, June the Meat Cleaver, from the Bordello of Horror. You're getting your freak on with the caretaker on the Graveyard Show. Step into the graveyard with the caretaker at graveyardshow.com. That is graveyardshow.com. Podcast number 58, February 25th, 2010. Enter the graveyard every Thursday night, midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific. Filling in this week for the caretaker. And please welcome your host, The Undertaker. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Graveyard Show. I am your host, The Undertaker, and the graveyard is open. Now we welcome to The Graveyard Show the host of Chiller Drive-In, Wolfman Mac. Uh, Chiller Drive-In oh. Drive can be seen on... WMYD TV, Detroit's My TV 20, every Saturday night at midnight. Mac, welcome to the graveyard. Hey man, thanks a lot. How you doing there? Uh, we're doing great. We're doing great. Um, so I guess the only place that we would be able to start, or should start, is how did you actually become a werewolf? You know, it's really, <laughs> it's uh, it's really crazy. I, you you want to know how I became a horror host or a werewolf? Uh, a werewolf as a horror host. Uh, oh, oh man, yeah, I went out with this high level one night, riding in the moon, you know, under the moon, a little drop top Cadillac, and just I don't know, you know, one thing led to another. Surprise, surprise! Turns out. That little devil doll was a werewolf, you know. <laughs> uh, she uh, she bit me in all the right places. What can I say? <laughs> nice. Um, w- what brought you to open up the Chiller Drive-In? You know, the Chiller Drive-In is this uh, is this creepy little haunt in a uh, in a great little town called Hauntington Heights. And you cats would take Hauntington Heights because you know, right up the street from the drive-in is is our own little delicatessen where. You know, it's a little zombie deli, if you will. And you can go in and order a side of New York stripper. You know, if you're looking for something sweet, maybe a little cheerleader brain, you know. Uh, you know, something along those lines. And, and uh, a little up the street from that, we've got our own little hangout. It's kind of a little cafe, a little bar, if you will. You can get a little Wolves Bite energy drink. And Sit back and watch some rocket cats play out some, uh, some cool little rockabilly or gothabilly, whatever your taste may be, depending on the night. And um, you know, a whole uh, whole town, a little witches and goblins. And at the Chiller Drive-In, what I do is I show all those creepy films that everybody grew up with as a kid. Right now, it's all those good old classic public domain films. You know, they they got cheesy, campy ones where you see the little string holding up the. The little flying saucer, you know, uh, you know, you gotta dig those. They'll play night from outer space action and house on haunted hill, all that good stuff. In the future, though, we're planning on digging into the universal vault. A uh, little, a uh, little bit of hammer, you know, uh, maybe nice. uh, possibly some Warner Brothers and some Anchor Bay and, and what have you. Still, always gonna stay classic in the old drive-in, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist. So, so when did the drive-in actually open? Oh, man, I ran into that drive-in years and years ago after being chased by a town of angry villagers. Just couldn't understand. Both men walking through the neighborhood, you know. I suppose. And, uh, you know, I stumbled into the town of Haunted and Heights and ran into the projector booth for a little refuge and happened to find my little, my little sidekick on the show, old Boney Bob. He's kind of a wise-cracking, talking skeleton. Oh, uh... And uh, I don't know, the rest as they say. Uh, what, what year was that? What year was that that the drive-in opened? Oh, you know, I want to say I was I was working as a little radio jock back in the old 50s. 
you know. Uh, oh, way before Wolfman Jack, I'll tell you what, I was playing Hits of the Pits, Wax of the Max, rocking out all them good tunes. And, and uh, I want to say it was probably 55, 56. Oh, uh, yeah, remember the days well. Good old days, huh? You betcha. So that's the days of hot radio, man. Yeah. So, yeah. chiller driving. You don't need no FM dial. L O W H O L. Hot radio. <laughs> so, chiller driving can be seen on Detroit's My TV 20, but you've also been syndicated now as well. Now, how does that werewolf go about getting broadcast across the nation? Hey, man, by making a lot of phone calls. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's not like um, it's not like you can just get a show on TV. And, uh, and all of a sudden, people are clamoring for you. It's, um, it's, you gotta pardon me. I got a, I got a 68 hearse and, you know, it's, uh, I got a lot of the, a lot of the wind coming in, you know, a lot of the cool air coming in. I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds a little bit like I'm in a tunnel, but, uh, little 68 caddy. Nice. No, oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, so, um. Yeah, we're uh, we're nationally syndicated on the Retro Television Network. All you cats can, can, can check us out uh, every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, 9 p.m. Central. And um, you know we're uh, we're working on expanding our reach a little bit more into some of the Dish networks, uh, onto AT and T's uh, UVerse and, uh, and a few other things as well. Um, even talking to the, uh, even talking to the armed forces, you know, who knows? Maybe those guys will pick up our show, and all them guys and gals can watch us over in Iraq, or you know, out on the ship, or in their barracks, wherever. Well, that's that sounds excellent. Sounds like you're getting out there and, and getting this done. I mean, you know, 2010 is the year of the horror host, from what they're saying. Yeah. So, who are some of the other people that help you out on the show each and every week? Well, man, I've got a full cast and crew of about 40-some-odd people. And believe me, they are some odd people. But uh, a lot of good folks. And, uh, you know, um, I got uh, some of the cast members, you know, would be like, uh, well, our, we've got our own little professor and bomber. He's, uh, he himself is an experiment gone wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the ever-beautiful Rubella. You guys... Any of you guys like uh, like Betty Page out there? Let me tell you something. Our Rubella is the spitting image, and uh, wow, you guys would really totally dig her. And then we've got uh, Morbid Melvin. He's sort of a uh, uh, you know I don't he's a big guy, uh, um, a man child if you will. And um, uh, Bony Bob, of course, is my sidekick. Although I've never kicked him in the side. No, that, you might break him. Skeleton. Yeah, might break a rib. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, who else do we have on there? We've, you know, we've got uh, we've got a, a new guy moving into the old haunted in Heights neighborhood, and uh, his name is Scary Grant, and uh, he is a very debonair, uh, you know, uh, a vampire, and kind of an older gentleman, and speaks like bony, bony, bony. You know, <laughs> nice. and uh, and he's he's going to be a wonderful addition to the cast. We're we're looking forward to having that cat on. So uh, there's there's a whole bunch more, man. It's like you know how much time you got, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got a got a great cast and crew to put together this uh, this this TV show. And every week, every week it gets better and better. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot going on. Um, are there any uh, promotional events or public appearances that you've got coming up? You want to talk about? Well, you know, we're going to be down in Indianapolis for the uh, Vampire Tribute uh, at, um, at uh, you know, I get my conventions con uh, confused. Uh, I believe this one is uh, Horror Hound. Horror Hound Weekend. It's at the uh, Marriott yeah. East, I think, in Indianapolis. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, it's going to be the last weekend of March. And when you get down there to Indianapolis and come check us out, there's not only going to be just me, but, I mean, you're going to run into uh, uh, Carlos uh, 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 Borloff, uh, uh, I know you. You know you do some horror hosting. We're gonna have a uh, you know a whole bunch of cats down there. That uh, Penny Dreadful, um, you know a a whole host of horror hosts. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be a, a big event. Now, outside of that, you know, up up by you, uh, have you got any appearances coming up? I know uh, you work with uh, some rockabilly bands and stuff, right? 
Well, yeah, you know, locally, I do a lot of stuff here in the Detroit area. Every Friday night, I host a rockabilly night, and, uh, you know, we even, you know, even bring in a little bit of uh, psychobilly, gothabilly, um, you know, and uh, we host that at a, uh, at a neighborhood pub uh, called Bo's Smokehouse. Folks can come by and get some tasty barbecue grindage and uh, listen to some good rockabilly every Friday night. Uh, it's in downtown Pontiac, Michigan, which is also where uh, Chiller Drive-In, the TV show, is recorded. Uh, we take the show inside the world's largest haunted attraction, Erebus. That's E-R-E-B-U-S. If you want, folks want to look that up on the Internet. And, um, and Erebus is a smoking hot haunt, man. You guys... Uh, people travel from all over the place to come see uh, come see this joint in Halloween. I, yeah, I was able to check out some of the video footage from that. Is is that open year round? No, the uh, the haunt is open year round, but not to the public. Uh, actually, what they do is they have a handful of full time employees mm. uh, that go in at uh, at the end of Halloween and they tear the place apart, uh, and then they make a fresh haunt. And then by the end of August, early September, they're ready to go with some new sights and screams. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds like cool. that sounds like a scream right there. It really is. It really is. And uh, you know, people come from all over the place. In fact, we're uh, we're helping to get Pontiac to be uh, the the Halloween town. We have uh, uh, the Motor City Haunt Club. We've got uh, you know we're we're uh, working on getting together a, a Halloween parade that's going to be huge. And, uh, and a zombie walk like you've never seen before. I can't say a whole lot more because we got some stuff up our sleeves, man. It's going to look really cool. All right. Um, yeah. So if our listeners want to find out more about uh, you, Wolfman Mac, and Wolfman Mac's Chiller Drive-In, where can they go to do that? Well, you, you want to go to a couple of different places. Uh, first, I want to send it to the website. It's ChillerDriveIn.com. ChillerDriveIn.com. And pretty soon, probably in the next, I want to say, four to six weeks, um, while retro television is going to begin airing all of our new stuff mm -hmm. around April, uh, you'll be able to catch all of our former episodes right off of the website. Excellent. So stay tuned for that. And then, of course, uh, you'll want to friend us on, uh, on Facebook and MySpace and just look up Wolfman Mac. It's M-A-C. You know, not not Jack or M A C K or Max or it's just Mac M A C. All right, is, is there anything else you'd like to add tonight, Mac? Oh, hey man, just uh, want to make sure everybody you know checks this out. You know, wherever you're at, uh, even if you do get Schiller Drive in in your neck of the woods, make sure you hunt down, uh, you know, uh, your uh, your local horror host and support those cats because. There's a lot of us out there. Uh, there's about 150 horror hosts on the air right now. Them are on uh, public access, which is, you know, which is really, I think that's, I think that's perfect. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, there's a few of us on regular broadcast, but really support your local horror host and, uh, you know, and, and watch their program and let them know you're watching them. And it just, you know, it's just, uh, we're, we're just trying to keep that, that alive for another, trying to keep the genre, genre alive for, for another decade, you know, or, or, or generation, I should say. Definitely. We're, we're definitely fans of the horror host here in the Graveyard Show. Uh, Mac, I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us on the Graveyard tonight, and uh, okay, man. hopefully we'll be able to talk again soon. All right, as we say here in good old Huntington Heights, stay creepy. All right, you have a good night. All right, catch you later. I would like to thank again tonight's guests, Cindy Martin and Wolfman Mac. Next week, the caretaker will be returning, so tune in to hear who he'll be talking with. So if any of you out there would like to get a hold of us, you can do so by emailing graveyardshow at gmail.com. That's graveyardshow at gmail.com. Please check out the site for all the updates at graveyardshow.com. That's graveyardshow.com. The podcast is also available on iTunes and Podcast Alley. We're also on Twitter. Go to twitter.com slash graveyard show. As always, I'd like to thank you for listening to the podcast. Now, as we close down the graveyard, I'd like to remind you, 
As you exit, please lock the gate behind you. We wouldn't want anyone to get out. Until next time. Hey fans, it's Ken Forey. Just want to tell you about Mail Order Zombie. Great company. They review zombie films, any zombie film, every zombie film. And it's uh, something you should tune into. So if you get a chance, go to the website, look these guys up, Mail Order Zombie, and find out what the hot zombie films are today. What's going on? These guys are right on the the cutting edge of of reviewing zombie movies. And if you're a zombie, or you want to be a zombie, or you're thinking about being a zombie, or your mom's a zombie, your dad's a zombie, your damn mother-in-law's a zombie, tune into Mail Order Zombie, baby. You'll find out what's going on. Ken Forey, and that's out. Friends of the Undead, this is the Deacon of Darkness, the posthumous pimp, Freak Show. And I am the diva of dismemberment, mistress of the blade, June the Meat Cleaver. Myself, along with the Harlots of Horror, host the online video podcast, Bordello of Horror. Check out all the twisted fun with featured films, news, interviews, reviews, and more. I personally dare you to step into the bordello at madisonhorror.com. That's madisonhorror.com? Madisonhorror.com. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Choose from Chainsaw Dismemberment, Nightmare 8, da da da. Satisfy your sickest fantasies. It's a trick. Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Every town has an elf. There's no more room in hell. The dead will walk here. We all go a little mad sometimes. Haven't you? Destroy the brain. St. Louis's only horror and cult movie podcast since 2007.